place has been busy with state police detectives. Now, few things get the police's attention than when one of their weapons is stolen, and now the hunt is on to find that weapon before a crime is committed with it. Mass State Police detectives spent a good part of the day talking to residents coming and going from the Malden apartment complex. The trooper vehicle was being taken away on a flatbed for further investigation after it was broken into sometime overnight, with state police confirming, quote, a department-issued rifle was stolen from the cruiser. Preliminary investigation indicates that cruiser was locked and the rifle secured in a mount. Preliminary investigation further indicates that forced entry was made into the cruiser. At this time, we have no indication of the rifle being used subsequent to its theft. It's definitely a bold move. Residents who live in the same building as the trooper were surprised law enforcement would be targeted here, including Mike Zacharia, who parks right next to the trooper's vehicle. I have always see him coming and going in his in his uniform. I always, you know, it feels good to have a stadium around, but, uh, you know, never thought much of it. Now police are focusing on security cameras in the garage, but police are not sure they were working overnight and now hope these Malden city cameras outside the garage will lead them to the person who stole a Mass State Police rifle from this state trooper's vehicle.